Well, everything ready now for the start of the game. Referee Mick Spain looking at his watch. The Arcane Band marching off the field. Cork in their red jerseys playing from right to left. Kilkenny in the black and amber vertical stripes from left to right. And the game is on. And Pat Hegarty is pushed to get it right through the center to Mick Malone. Gerald McCarthy for Cork from 50 yards out to Ray Cummins. And the best. Oh, a shot there from Charlie McCarthy that uh, stood off his stick and went wide. Dennis Collin for Cork. Pat Lawler going back now for the Kilkenny man. And from his own 14, a relieving clearance. Frank Norbert under the ball, grabbing it now. For Kilkenny, and Kenny really going on now is Mick Crotty. And a point, a point by Mick Crotty in the first, oh, the first two minutes of the game. Cork doing the pressing, but the ball going over the bar from a Mick Crotty uh, point, and that's one point to no score. Plenty of altitude with this one, and it's added to as it lands by Mick Malone. Cleared out by Van Larkin, now it's Pat Hegarty again. Pat from 55 yards out, a high one that's lobbing right into the goal mouth. Ray Cummins trying to get it in, and no skin is there. Oh dear. The reincarnation of Ollie, that one. Out to the far side, and it's Justin McCarthy now. Rick Cummins bring the ball down into his hand. The shot, and it's a goal! <laughs> Coke, one goal. Kilkenny, one point. From the puck, Liam O'Brien sends it upfield. Now it's Con Roach for Cork from his own 40. Mick Malone and Pat Henderson. Pat, despite three Cork men being around him, getting that ball up, and it is a free up for the Kilkenny man, exactly the halfway line. And the tall Pat Henderson. He was off the team a year ago, but he's back today. And he takes this one from way out the field, and he sends it straight over the bar. And the man that scored it, Pat Henderson of Johnstown. The score, Cork one goal, Kilkenny two points. Five and a half minutes gone in the first half. Forty minutes, remember, in each half. Ball coming in the center of the field. Frank Cummins getting it out to Pat Henderson. At the referee letting him go on. Let's leave O'Brien now. And way up the field, and it is high, and it is another point for Kilkenny. Leave O'Brien the scorer from way out the field. That makes the score Kilkenny three points. Cork, one goal. The sides are leveled. Here's Paddy. Paddy Barry with the puck out. And in under the ball, Pat Henderson and Mick Malone goes off Mick Malone, sticking us out over the sideline for a line ball. Line ball to be taken by Van Larkin inside, no, outside. In fact, on his own 50. Locked down by Con Roach. And get it away. Here's Pat Delaney going. He's lost his stick and illegally. And there is a free for Kilkenny just inside the Cork 70-yard line. And coming across to take it, Liam O'Brien. It's high and it's good, it's over the bar. Liam O'Brien, his second point of the game. Making the score now, Kilkenny four points, Cork one goal. Nine, almost nine minutes gone, eight and a half minutes gone. First half, Paddy Barry's puck to the far side of the field. Comes out loose to Justin McCarthy. Justin McCarthy gets it out of the wing, but Pat Lawler's there for Kilkenny. Up along this side now, and Con Roach getting in for Cork. And the referee blows his whistle and penalizes Gerald McCarthy there for a foul on Frank Cummins, and there is a free out. They're playing away down the other end of the field, but there's a free out for Kilkenny, which Pat Henderson will take. 
Dropping on the 21-yard line, and Seamus Looney penalized for a foul there. He's appealing that he was laid under, but uh, there is a free in for Kilkenny, and Eddie Kerr will take it. And Eddie sends it over the bar into the crowd, and that puts Kilkenny further ahead. Kilkenny now leading by these two points as Kilkenny leads by five points to Cork's one goal. And Eddie Kerr has now scored just one point. Eddie Barry notifying to the referee by holding the ball up high that he has it and he's ready to go. Gerald McCarthy for Cork trying to get away. His way blocked by Eamon Morrissey. And that's Frank Cummins now. Frank Cummins for Kilkenny. Way up field. Out comes Tony Marr. Tony Marr from his own 50. In towards Pat Haggerty. Doesn't quite get it. But Frank Cummins does for Kilkenny. And it is now Dennis Collin grabbing it for Cork. Way down field. Up goes Van Larkin. Van Larkin out to the wing to Pat Lawler. Pat Lawler bottled up a bit. But goes on with the ball. Mick Crotty trying to get it out the far side. Over there, too, is Justin McCarthy. And Justin sends it way up field, and Charlie McCarthy is out there, very near the sideline. One of these ground ones of his to Ray Cummins. Ray Cummins has got it. He's on the 21. Pa Dillon has held him, and there's a free in for Cork. Well, the battle of the tall ones is the tall Ray Cummins and the tall Pa Dillon stand shoulder to shoulder. And Charlie McCarthy, with that number 13 in his back, getting ready to take this free which can and surely will bring Cork at least nearer it does he sends it over the bar making the score now Kilkenny five points and Cork four which in fact is one goal and one and there's Charlie McCarthy and that's Charlie's first score of the game Kilkenny five points Cork one goal and one 12 minutes gone first half Noel Skeen complete with well peaked cap Out to the far side, Mick Crotty out there. Chasing Vic Malone. Shorty's ball for Kilkenny. Dennis Collin wholeheartedly going in there. But Charlie McCarthy decides it's not worthwhile chasing that one because even Charlie wouldn't get to it. And that was an opinion also held by Jim Tracy as the ball goes out over the line. Line ball for Kilkenny and Jim Tracy to take the puck. Just inside the 50. Oh, a very short one. Grabbed by Liam O'Brien, however, and that's the long one. Blocked down by Tony Marr to Seamus Looney. Seamus Looney to the side of the field of Pat Haggerty. Pat letting it go by. Pat Henderson coming out. Pat Henderson right up field. Frank Norbrook doesn't quite hold on to it. Ball goes back in the center to Seamus Looney. Seamus, still Seamus. Now it's Con Roach. And Con Roach for Cork. Way in towards the goal mouth. And Ray Cummins has it again. Ray Cummins is grounded again. And with Charlie McCarthy taking the freeze, bringing down a man going in, it may save a certain score, but it also means a certain score. Charlie McCarthy bidding now for the equalizer. No doubt about it, straight over the bar, Charlie McCarthy the scorer, and that makes them level. Charlie, who has now scored three, no, two points, two points for Charlie, and the score, Kilkenny five points, Cork one goal and two, and we make it 14 minutes in the first half. And the Sean Ski, uh, the Noel Ski and puck out comes to Frank Cummins, center of the field. Got out by Brian Murphy. Grabbed out on the far side and blocked down by Pat McDonald. Pat McDonald way out the field with his theorem. Emma Morrissey in under it. Now it's Pat Henderson with the ball. And Pat has lost his stick, but he still <laughs> he hasn't lost his boot, but he's lost the ball now. It goes to Pat Egerty. Pat who's foraging everywhere. Oh, a lovely shot from Pat, way out the far side of the field. And Sean O'Leary trying to keep it in play, but uh, Van Larkin uh, is in on top of him. A very dramatic dive there, I would say, by Sean O'Leary, which might have deserved an Oscar more than a free. And that's Frank Cummins getting the ball down to Mick Crotty on this side. Mick Crotty up further up field now. Ned Byrne coming out, pulling on it along with Brian Murphy, breaking between them. Kieran Purcell. 
and clear in the high wall then Kilkenny lead again Kilkenny lead by six points to Corks one goal and two after just almost 16 minutes of play but down there by Pat Henderson Ben Larkin wholeheartedly out the field Justin McCarthy hooped Kill three Kilkenny men, one leaving it to the other, and eventually cleared out by Eamon Morrissey, way out the field. And it comes to Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney with it now. He's bursting his way through a dangerous hopping ball in towards the goal. It's Big Trotty with it now. He's on the 14. There's a free, there's a free. A free to Kilkenny, a free to Kilkenny. Great save by Paddy Barry, but the whistle had gone. The whistle had gone. A free 21-yard line, dead straight in front of the goal, maybe ever so slightly to the left, but Eddie Kerr is to take it. Remember, Kilkenny leading by one point at this stage. And now Kilkenny lead by two as Eddie Kerr has scored his second point of the game and has put Kilkenny, in fact, two points ahead as Kilkenny lead by seven points to Cork's one goal and two. The stopwatch says 18 minutes. First half, Paddy Barry, puck out into the center of the field, Charlie McCarthy has come way out there, and Liam O'Brien coming in for Kilkenny, Justin McCarthy after him, Dennis Corlin almost touching the ball on the ground, or touching it almost on the ground, didn't, and it goes to Gerald McCarthy, Van Larkin, Van who's having one whale of a game, going up from his lowly position there to go high up in the air, and getting the ball, the ball going out to Charlie McCarthy, Charlie in towards the goal, and Ray Cummins eventually finishing it over the bar. A point there for Cork by Ray Cummins, and uh, that is Ray's second point of the game, I, our, uh, his goal and a point, I should say, and the score is Kilkenny seven points, Cork 1-3. And Charlie McCarthy looking a little bit irate there for a moment as he uh, was beaten but recovered. Liam O'Brien is in there now, Justin McCarthy. Now it's Charlie, out to Gerald McCarthy. McCarthy's all around the place. They're not even cousins, but they're cork men. And, Char and Gerald under pressure as the ball is blocked on by Jim Tracy. Back to Charlie McCarthy, and Charlie sends it over the bar. Charlie McCarthy, his third point of the game. Charlie, who in the championship has scored no less than four goals and 28 points up to today, and the sides are level again. Kilkenny, seven points. Cork, one goal and four. 22 minutes gone, first half. That's Liam O'Brien now. Liam O'Brien in the center of the field, hooked by Justin McCarthy. Frank Cummins is out there. Charlie McCarthy switches in the Cork team, which put Mick Malone top of the right, and Charlie McCarthy out on the half-forward line. That's Charlie again. Right across is Sean O'Leary, who's discarded his helmet. In now to Ray Cummins. Ray, 35 yards out. High, and it's over the bar. A goal and two points for Ray Cummins, but for Cork, it's 1-5 as they lead 1-5 to Kilkenny, seven points. Cork attacking again now. Gerald McCarthy and Eamon Morrissey. Eamon Morrissey trying to break up the attack. John Kinsella now with the ball. Across into the center. Got by Pat Delaney, who is held, and there is a free for Kilkenny just outside the Cork 50-yard line. And at this stage, remember, Cork are leading by one point. Liam O'Brien. It's gone over the bar, and they're level again. Another point for Kilkenny. Level for the third time in the game as Liam O'Brien sends that one over, making the score, Kilkenny eight points, Cork one goal and five, down to Justin McCarthy, off the final a couple of years ago with a broken leg, but boy is he in it today. Now it's Mick Malone, Mick Malone, who has won four under 21 medals, and he sends this one high, and he sends it over the bar, and Cork lead again as Mick Malone, star of four Cork under 21 teams, Scores his first score of the game, putting Cork in the lead, 1-6 to 8 points. Sean O'Leary across to the far side of the field. Ray Cummins racing out now. Ray being chased by Eamon Morrissey. Pa Dillon taking up the hunt as well. 
Dale made, but Ray Cummins with it. I don't know where he got it from. Now it goes back to Gerald McCarthy, into Charlie. Charlie McCarthy tipping it into Mick Malone. Mick Malone is shot, and a great save. Oh, what a save. Noel Skeen, the wonder goalie. What a great save. Oh, dear, that was worth seeing. It was worth traveling miles to see that one. Referee blowing his whistle and awarding a free to talk for a foul on Con Roach. Noel Skeen, well, he might have been a sub for four years looking at Ali, but he certainly learned plenty. And Con Roach takes the free. Con Roach drops it over the bar for another point for Cork, and Noel Skeen has gone down from a knock that he got when that ball was going over the bar. And here he comes with another puck out. Referee awards a free to Kilkenny just outside the Cork 50. Liam O'Brien going to take it now. And Lean sends it over the bar, and he narrows the gap to one point as Liam O'Brien, a very expert taker of frees, and the scorer of four of Kilkenny's points. Kilkenny's total is nine, but Cork are the leaders, one goal and seven. 31 of the 40 minutes gone, and it seems a pity that there are only nine left in this first half. But don't forget, there's another 40 after that. Dennis Corlin. Now Pat Hegarty, Mick Malone coming across on the far wing now, trying to sell a dummy to Jim Tracy. Sale completed, ball in towards the goal mark, and it's a goal! It's a goal! Mick Malone dropping a ball in there into the square, and Wynoski and going for it, but Pat Jelen and Ray Cummins came across in front of him, and whether it was Ray Cummins who eventually touched it to the net or not, I wouldn't like to bet from up here, but if it was, uh, the, whether it was or not, Mick Malone is the man with the credit. It is Cork 2-7, Kilkenny 9 points. And Kilkenny back in the attack now, as John Kinsler from the 50-yard line sends it high and sends it over the bar. And that makes the score now. Cork still leading, of course, with the score of two goals and seven points. That's a total of 13 points to Kilkenny's 10. A quick puck out taken that was intended for Dennis Fallen, but it eventually went to Mick Trotty. That burned to Mick Trotty. To John Kinsella, who is the rounder. And there is a free, a free in for... Kilkenny, Eddie Kerr coming out to take it. I don't know if that was a half Nelson or a whole Nelson, but uh, it was a Kinsella grounder anyway. Eddie Kerr to take the free. Eddie's shot is an Eddie Kerr point, his third of the game. Narrowing the gap now to two points as Eddie getting his third of the game and Cork leading two goals and seven points to Kilkenny's 11. This is Pat Laura for Kilkenny. Pat Hegarty is after him. Pat gets the ball into the center. And it's Charlie McCarthy now. It's Pat Henderson after him, and it's still Charlie. Charlie in towards the goal mark, the hopping ball, and it's Noel Skeen again. Noel Skeen out in towards the center. Tom Roach under pressure. Up now to Mick Malone. Ray Cummins backing in. Pat Dillon making sure he doesn't get in. And... Noel Skeen in possession, but the referee has decided that Pagellan fouled Ray Cummins in a rather funny scene in a way that the little Van Larkin is having an argument with a rather tall, Mutton Jeff-like situation here, the rather tall Ray Cummins. Three for Cork, one of the goal, Charlie McCarthy, and a point. Charlie, his fourth point of the game, the scoreboard now, Cork, two goals and eight points to Kilkenny's 11 points. And that is 14 points to 11. Two minutes left in the first half on our stopwatch. That's not an official time, it's just our stopwatch. And here comes Kilkenny with Kieran Purcell. Kieran Purcell, 25 yards out. 
being chased by Con Roach. Con, oh, what a mar marvelous robbery that was. But the ball comes out to this side. John Law, John Kinsel has come across in the first, and Con Roach has come after it again. Con with his gander up, as they say. Getting the ball down to Frank Cummins. Stalemate. Ball breaking out again to Frank Cummins. And Frank, who may hurl his club hurling down in court, but he hurls these county hurlings for Kilkenny. In now to Ned Byrne. Ned Byrne being hooshed off the ball, and that's a hooshing job if ever there was. Out to John Kinsella. John Kinsella, 30 yards out. He's puck blocked down by Con Roach. Mick Crotty, 25 yards out. A shot, and it's over the bar. And now the score. With one minute left in the first half, Cork two goals and eight points, Kilkenny 12, that's 14 points to 12. Con Roach. Maybe he's lost his stick, but he's got it back very quickly, and now it's Frank Cummins. Frank Cummins from 70 yards out from the Cork goal. A dangerous loving ball in towards the goal mouth. Jordan Purcell in there. Ned Byrne in there. In there too is Pat McDonald and Brian Murphy. And the ball just won't move. Kieran Purcell coming on after it there. Ned Byrne trying to get it through. Didn't the ball goes out to Con Roach. Con a high relieving clearance. Out it comes to Justin McCarthy. Justin McCarthy being chased there by Liam O'Brien. Charlie McCarthy has come down looking for it. He doesn't get it. Jim Tracy does. Jim Tracy up now to Pat Lawler. Pat Lawler up through to Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney still on after the ball. Oh, a hard pull there that he didn't like. And there is a free in for Kilkenny, about 40 yards out from the court goal. And it looks to me as if there's some changes in personnel, even in the Kilkenny forward line. More about that in a moment. Eddie Kerr with the shot and has sent the ball over the bar for a point for Kilkenny. Eddie Kerr, the scorer, making it now just one point between them. And the score is now Cork two goals and eight points. Kilkenny 13 points, four minutes gone in the first half. And it looks as if uh, Mossy Murphy is on for Eddie Byrne in the Kilkenny team. And here comes Cork attacking, but Ray Cummins trying to get in past by Dylan Farr, policing Ray very well, and uh, looking a little bit satisfied that that was one occasion the Kilkenny man was both most definitely the man in control, as he more or less kidded the Cork man into letting the ball go by. Mossy Murphy at full forward for Kilkenny. And Kieran Purcell has moved out onto the right wing. Kilkenny going into attack again now. Pat Delaney getting out to the ball. Lovely high lobbing ball. Eddie Kerr is in under it. So is Tony Marr. Ball goes back and it's cleared out to this side by Teddy O'Brien. Pat Lawler now. Or not Pat Lawler. John Kinsella it is. John Kinsella. Across into the center. Mossy Murphy tried to get his stick to it, but he can't. Seamus Looney now. Way upfield for Cork. Down it comes to within 70 yards of the Cork goal. Still 70 yards, or back again at 70 yards from the Cork goal. Justin McCarthy and Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien with it now. 50 yards out, 40 yards out, 30 yards out. The 21 yard line. A shot that's high and the shot that's low. Oh, it's over the bar. It's over the bar. The point and the equalizer once again. A equaliser once again is Liam O'Brien, the chief scorer for Kilkenny today. And the score, their level, Kilkenny 14 points, Cork 2 goals and 8. At Lawler. At Lawler upbeat and it's Con Roach again. What a great game he's playing. Out to this side of the field, Eamon Morrissey doesn't quite get the ball to his stick. It's sent in by Justin McCarthy. Ray Cummins, where's he going to flick this one? Nowhere, because he doesn't get away with it. But the referee has penalised Eamon Morrissey for a foul on Ray Cummins, and there is a free in for Cork, about 40 yards out from the Kilkenny goal. Can this be the lead again? 
Charlie McCarthy. And the ball dropped down. <laughs> yes, it's him again. Out goes Noel Skeen. But he's beaten by Pat Haggerty. He gets it back to Mick Malone. Mick Malone across into the center. And a shot that's low and hard. And it's all. Mick Malone finishing it into the back of the net. Noel Skeen had gone out with the ball on the far side. And now Mick Malone putting Cork ahead with a score of 3 8 to 14 points. And it's a goal and a point that he has scored in the game. On the far wing now, the ball goes out over the line and wide. And the round of applause that you hear is for Van Larken limping away, way down the other end of the field. And out comes the puck out by Paddy Barry into the center of the field. Just to McCarthy, back to Gerald McCarthy. Ray Cummins getting his hands up, tapping it down to Charlie McCarthy. Charlie outside the far line of ground. A shot and it's blocked by Noel Skeen. John O'Leary is after him. Now he gets it across the goal mouth and it's gone off Noel Skeen's stick and it is a 70. Gerald McCarthy to take the 70. And Noel Skeen blocks it down. Pat Lawler. Mick Malone now. Still Mick Malone. Back it comes to Sean O'Leary. Sean O'Leary is shot in the point. A point by Sean O'Leary, his first of the game. Youngest lad on the field. Discarded his helmet and has got his first point. Cork, three goals and nine points. Kilkenny, 14 points. That's 18 points to 14, and it's 12 minutes gone in the second half. Gerald McCarthy up to Ray Cummins. Ray a shot and Ray a point. Ray Cummins who has scored three goals and two points for Cork. Sorry, two goals and three points for Cork and putting them ahead now with the score of three goals and And 10 points to 11 points, or to 14 points. The score at this stage is 310 to 14 points. But Kilkenny with Eddie Kerr now coming back. This is Eddie. Eddie from way out the field, and that's not the point off that lead. Is Eddie working his way across the far side, getting a point from, from play there, and making the score now after his fifth point of the game. Cork, three goals and 10 points. Kilkenny, 15 points. That's four points between them again. 19 to 15. Pat Henderson with it now. Jim Tracy. Jim Tracy right up the wing now to John Kinsella, very near the sideline. He's gone over. He's gone over. Linesman says that he and Ball were over. Gerald McCarthy. Damon Morrissey, who has redonned his helmet, I notice. And Dennis Collin. Lovely bit of feeling in the center of the field by Dennis Collin. Lovely bit of hooking there by Frank Cummins. And a lovely bit of follow-up by Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien for Kilkenny up along the wing. Eddie Kemp grabbing that ball into his left hand. And away he goes up the wing. A shot from way out the field. There it goes! and there's only a point between them. 3-10 to 15 points. 19 points to 18. And here come Cork again. Charlie McCarthy again. Ray Cummins. Cummins in front of the goal. And it's a goal. Oh, there he is. Three goals and three points to his credit. 
and to his eternal credit, the way he gets them. The score, four goals and ten points for Cork, 115 for Kilkenny. But as they say in show business, you ain't seen nothing yet. And it's Dennis Collin, high from way out the field. No skin. And he tried to pass it past Charlie McCarthy. Charlie in possession now. Charlie in front of the goal mouth. And it is saved in the goal mouth. It's a goal. It's a goal. Sean O'Leary. Sean O'Leary, the scorer. Sean O'Leary with an assist from Charlie McCarthy. And that makes the score now 5-10. 5 to 115. And we're in the 16th minute of the second half. Cork leading by seven points now. A moment ago they were in trouble, and now they're in control. But only 16 minutes gone. And remember, there are 40 minutes in each wonderful half of wonderful hurling like this. No skiing. Out to the center of the field. And here comes Pat Delaney. Pat Delaney on the 50. 40, 21, 14, a hand pass shot and Paddy Barry saves. A tussle in the goal mark, a free out for Cork. A little bit of picking off the ground there and a free out for Cork. Paddy Barry, who has not been pressed anything like as much as Noel Skeen, but saving that one very well, and here he is with his red and white, well peached cap to take this free out. Pat Lawler, oh, a fresh air shot, and you don't see them very often. Liam O'Brien across the would be pass over the far side of Kieran Perso, but it's Tom Roach way up the field. O'Connor set it over the bar. From 70 yards from his own goal. 70 yards from his own goal, every inch of it, and over the bar, making the score now. Five goals and 11 points for Cork, one goal and 15 for Kilkenny, and Conn has scored two of them. And the Cork followers sensing a possible victory here, but <laughs> I wouldn't be too sure yet. They're still out in front, but this is Hurling, and this is Eddie Kerr. And that was Kieran Purcell. And this is Eddie Kerr. And that is Brian Murphy of Cork. But he's under pressure. Kieran Purcell with the ball now. Kieran working his way through. He's on the 21, the 14. He's fouled. And there's a free in for Kilkenny. Free in for Kilkenny. And uh, we make it about uh, almost 18 minutes of the second half. On the 21-yard line. Eddie care to take it. What would you do, chum? Would you be satisfied with the point? You've a long time to go, or would you try for a goal? Here he comes. He's going for a goal. And he's got it. There he is, Eddie Kerr. Two goals and five points of the total to his credit. And the score now reads Cork still out there in front with the score. Five goals and 11 points. Dickel Kenny, two goals and 15, and the ball out in the center of the field. And Seamus Looney with a fresh air, and that's Eddie Kerr. High, loving, dangerous ball into the goal mouth. Ball blocked down out to this side of the field. Mick Crotty trying to get through, but he's well and truly brought down, and there's another free for Kilkenny. Will Eddie Kerr be satisfied with the point or where he succeeded a few moments ago will he try again for a goal this one not dead straight in front of the goal slightly to the left and i think he's going to be satisfied with the point he is over the bar a point for kilkenny narrowing the gap and that makes it two goals and six points that eddie has scored and it makes the scoreboard read cork five goals and 11 points kilkenny two goals and 16. that is 26 points to 22 and 21 minutes gone in the second half. 19 minutes left in the game. This is Pat Hegarty. Pat Hegarty being chased, being hooped. But still getting his puck in. The referee has awarded a free out against Cork, against Pat for holding there. And this free for Kilkenny will be taken by Martin Coogan. Eddie Kerr 
Kitty O'Brien, of course, into Dennis Corlin. Hook half left down. Jerry McCarthy. More fresh air. But uh, he gets it to Charlie. Charlie running down for it. And a loving ball in towards the goal mouth. Pat Dillon and Ray Cummins going for it. Ray feeding the ball back to Mick Malone. Mick in towards the goal mouth. Doubled down by Sean O'Leary. But he doesn't quite connect. And it is Noel Spain who gets it out to this side of the field. Now for Kilkenny from his own 55 again, not a long one. And it comes over to Frank Cummins. Frank Cummins going soloing up the field now. He's on the 50. It's 40. It's 30. It's 21. It's a shot. And it's a goal! It's a goal! Oh, what a goal! Frank Cummins, the scorer. And the sides are level again. 5'11 to 317. Charlie McCarthy out there too. Pat Dillon still there for Charlie. Gets it across into the center. Going back at Pat Henderson. Wonderful recovery. Back to Frank Cummins. Playing one way of a game in the center of the field. And down it goes. Tony Marr back there. And here's Eddie Kerr. The shot and the lead for Kilkenny. Eddie Kerr. His personal total, two goals and seven. The tally on the scoreboard, Kilkenny, 3.18, Cork, 5.11. That's 27 points to 26. Kilkenny now leading, and it's not so long ago since they were seven points behind. And Liam O'Brien with, with a bandage or something on the top of his head, up to Eddie Kerr. To Mossy Murphy. And Mossy, from 50 yards out, makes it two points up to Kilkenny. Mossy Murphy, who came on as a sub, getting that one, and now the score is 3.19 to 5.11 in favor of Kilkenny. Tony Collins coming on the Cork team now. Here comes Kilkenny back in the attack, but it's Tony Marr. Tony Marr, way up the field. Ball dropped down. Tony Collins with it now. Tony Collins, way up field for Cork. Now oh, a lovely bit of high feeding by Martin Coogan. Coogan down the field. When it goes to John Kinsella, John Kinsella from 50 yards out and saved in complete control by Paddy Barry. Pat Hegarty has gone off the cork team and the ball gone in now off Mick Malone's stick and gone dribbling out over the end line and wide. Two points between them at this stage. Kilkenny, the leaders by these two points. What a fantastic game. Ray Cummins, center half forward. Mick Malone, full forward. That's the latest move in the Cork team. Ball out to the center of the field. Pat Henderson up field to Eddie Kerr. A lovely touch over the head of the Corkman. And then getting the ball across to Kieran Purcell. Kieran Purcell from out the field, and it's another point for Kilkenny. Last seven points in the game, all scored by Kilkenny, who now lead with the score, three goals and 20, the Corks, five goals and 11. That's 29 points to 26. The stopwatch says 30 minutes gone, 10 minutes left, and you still ain't seen nothing yet. From the puck out, it is Kilkenny's Frank Cummins with the ball. And Frank up the field for his tennis corner for Cork now. His puck dropped down. Tony Collins after the ball now, with it, on the 50. Into the goal mouth. Pulled down by Martin Coogan. Now it's Liam O'Brien. And Liam going up on a solo. The egg on the pan. Away he goes with his ball stuck to his stick. 
Lovely high hopping ball that goes into Paddy Barry and Paddy getting a long relieving clearance upfield. Tony Collins going under, but he misjudges it and it goes back to Frank Cummins. And a queer hop on that ball as it landed. Teddy O'Brien now for Cork. Gerald McCarthy, top of the left for Cork now. As Martin Coogan comes out, gets the ball. as Hooper is beaten by a hurly list girl. And back now goes Pat Henderson. And another terrific clearance. And Seamus Mooney gets the ball now to Dennis Collin, who misses it. Recovers. Just a McCarthy. Way up the field it goes now. And it's Martin Coogan feeling that ball, getting it with great style, coolness, and the plum, and getting it away down the field. This is Teddy O'Brien now, tackled by Frank Cummins. And it's Ray Cummins trying to get his hand up to that ball. Pat Henderson is in there. Ray Cummins out to Tony Collins. In there is Eamon Morrissey, and Morrissey with the ball out to the far side of the field. Con Roach going back, judging it perfectly. And a high ball from way out the field by Con. There's a tail on it, and it is gone wide. It's wide, it's wide. Well, Kilkenny leading by three points. 5-11 to Kilkenny, or Kilkenny, 3-20, I should say. Cork, 5-11. That's 29 points to 26. And so help me God, I hope it's a draw. From the puck out, the ball comes down the field. And it's uh, Pat Delaney. And here comes Pat going way up the field. Tony Maher is after him, but Pat breaks clear. And there's another point for Kilkenny. And Pat Delaney and uh, Tony Maher exchanging what could loosely be described as pleasantries as... Kilkenny leads still further now, and here comes Liam O'Brien. Another shot in towards the goal mouth, and it goes off the chest of Paddy Barry, and is in fact eventually deflected out over the end line and has gone wide. John Rothwell is in for Gerald McCarthy on the Cork team. Four points between them. Pat Lawler. Teddy O'Brien in under it, and Con Roach out the far side to Dennis Corlin. Dennis Corlin up along the far wing. John Rothwell gone down for it now with Martin Coogan. Ball breaks loose to Pa Dillon, and Pa coming out, and Pa coming out with that confidence that a four-point lead at this stage can give you. And here comes Tony Collins back with the attack that an attack must really come at this stage for Cork. And here is Damon Morrissey, downfield for Kilkenny. Here in Purcell, one sock on, one sock off, but who cares about fashion? It's Pat Delaney, Pat Delaney and Seamus Looney, and Pat Delaney getting the better of the tussle. In towards the goal mouth. And the three, no, 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 no. It's a free in for Kilkenny, and uh, it might mean that uh, the no was premature because Eddie might well go for, and um, Paddy Morden is in the game now, might well go for a goal, but uh, remember the score is Kilkenny 321, Cork 511, 30 points to 26 in favor of Kilkenny, and five minutes left in the game. Can you believe it that not so long ago, Kilkenny were seven points behind? Eddie Kerr, and he takes his point. Eddie Kerr taking his point. He's now scored a total of two goals and eight points, and Kilkenny have scored a total of three goals and 22 to 5-11. And here come Cork, and it's Sean O'Leary with the ball, going over the top, but he loses the ball en route. Out comes the ball to Johnny Collins. Johnny with it now. A shot that's low. Blocked down by Jim Tracy. Johnny McCarthy to heck with the helmet, he says. Away it goes. And it's Jim Tracy with the ball now. Down a long clearance. This is Teddy O'Brien. Teddy O'Brien bottled up, but shaking off the bottlers and getting the ball to Seamus Looney. Teddy O'Brien again. Teddy O'Brien way up the field with the ball. And a great grabbing clearance there by Eamon Morrissey. 
Down comes the ball, and it's Mick Crotty. Mick Crotty from out the field takes his shot, and Paddy Barry saves it inside his own parallelogram. He comes out now to make a clearance, making every yard tell. Less than five minutes left in the game, and it's Pat Henderson. Brian Murphy and Mick Crotty, Brian Murphy with it, up the field. And here's Con Rhodes, oh what a game Con has played. Two Kilkenny men around him. <laughs> well he can kick him as well as hit him, I mean the ball. And it is pulled down by Johnny Collins, far side of the field. And that's Frank Cummins, Frank Cummins back now to Martin Coulter, Martin Hoots. But going back with the coolness of a five point lead, getting the ball to get a downfield of Pat Henderson and he's still further downfield. This is Seamus Looney now for Cork. And Paddy Mortem with the ball now. John Kinsel has gone off. Paddy Mortem, we mentioned some time ago, has come on. Brian Murphy and Monty Murphy with it now. The referee has blown his whistle. He saw that pull of the jersey. And this looks like about it. Eddie Kerr to take the free, dead straight in front of the goal. And he sends it over the bar, and Kilkenny have increased their lead still further to 32 points to 26. And that makes the score, in fact, three goals and 23 points for Kilkenny, five goals and 12 for Cork, two goals and nine of the Kilkenny total scored by Eddie Kerr. Tony Marr up the field. Ray Cummins now with the ball. But even Ray can't strike the rock to make the miracle happen as the ball is cleared out to the far side of the field. Two minutes left of the game. Con Roach to take the line ball. Pat Henderson. Pat Lawler. Tony Marr who's up 50 yards out from the Kilkenny goal, now trying to get it up. Tony Collins getting it up, feeds a bit, booted down by Liam O'Brien. Paddy Moran, and Paddy the hero of many a Kilkenny battle. And Pat Delaney with it now, trying to get up field. Trying to get up, in fact. He does both, and he gets the point. And the somewhat dejected Paddy Barry looking at and Pat Delaney, who sees another All-Ireland medal already on the mantelpiece. Kilkenny, 3.24, Cork, 5.11. One minute left in the game. The last 11 points in this game came from Kilkenny, who have really taken over. That's Mossy across to the far side now. Mossy Murphy, and here's Con Roach. Con Roach beaten this time by Kearden Purcell, and Kearden Purcell may well lay on another score here. Brian Murphy gone out. Still Brian Murphy, but his puck blocked down, and there's a line ball for Cork. The crowd, the Kilkenny crowd, now sensing victory. How times can change. Not so long ago, the Cork crowd were sensing victory. Eddie Kerr from 50 yards out. And it's gone wide. And the score is now, as it was a moment ago, Kilkenny, three goals and 24 points. Cork, five goals and 